Hey everyone, if you're joining me on YouTube, we are now checking out the Indie World Showcase. I said that in a crazy way, but uh, yeah, the Indie World Showcase for Nintendo for 419. Uh, hopefully there's going to be some pretty indie, good indie games here. It's going to be right around 20 minutes long. And I don't, I mean, I don't expect Silk Song to be here, but Silk Song's running out of time. They said first half this year. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Hi, Amber. Andrew. We're excited Andrew. to share some upcoming indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Let's Hi, get the show on the road. They sound so happy. Oh, Shell, this is for you. By the way, Many I do stream on Twitch. Ago, at the you can top of join us here. Kugu, the cat god, Miko, appeared from a sakura flower floating in a nearby river. Nico would visit the farms in our village, granting each one good fortune and prosperity in turn. That's but cool. some in the village became impatient for their own blessings, and in a fit of jealousy, they drove Nico away. The games are worth being this land. happy. There are so many, many types of passed, farming games now. None of are none are knockoffs. Success. The story of Nico drifted from memory. No, no, not Yet there at this are point. some who still believe in the power of magic and myth. With these kids. Welcome to Mineko's Night Market. Long ago, the villagers at the base of Mount Fugu worshipped the mythical sun cat Nico. However, recent sightings reveal this myth may no longer be a legend. As the adorable Mineko in this narrative adventure sim, the they'll Nico do various Neko. jobs, befriend the townsfolk, and craft all sorts of doodads in preparation for the weekly Neko, night right? market. And wow, this market is bustling. There's it's a ton of things to do here, like joining parades, entering cat races, and performing on stage. Did Looks we like mention light on the sim elements? Nearly everything you find on the island can be sold oh. at the market. Now that's one happy oh. customer. And if you're just itching to explore, the island's got lots of secrets to uncover uh -oh. and puzzles to solve. Ooh, but be careful, on them, chat. you bussin'. might encounter some meddlesome agents along the way. Stop by Mineko's Night Market, setting up shop on Nintendo oh, Switch Mineko. September 26th. Okay. 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 Studio 我们希望你能和我们一起来度过这个沙漠时光。谢谢。Role-playing and simulation games? This sequel to My Time at Portia has it all! Through a captivating story, rife with dozens of characters and side quests, you're tasked with restoring this post-apocalyptic desert community to its former glory. Equipped with your trusty tools, you'll gather resources to assemble machines and transform a derelict workshop into a finely Wait, tuned facility. Wait, is it too rough around the edges for Lots Shell? Lots of customization Not cute options enough? are also in your toolbox. From crafting items to building and decorating your home however you'd like. But there's more to Sandrock than just building. Why not venture into ancient ruins and scavenge for relics? Or say oh, hi wow. to the locals and make some friends? Unfortunately, this town's kind of popular with the monsters, so take them down in melee combat. I My shot. time at Sandrock I... launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. I always figured it, it was, you know, I always figured. Roguelike cooking in a management sim. Cook. Sarah.
I, I, I can't do these games. What was the other one that was basically this? Um, serve? Uh, what was it called? I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on it. Ever dreamed of having your very own restaurant? Well, now you can in the roguelite management sim, Played Up. Create, decorate, and automate the restaurant of your dreams. Place and arrange appliances however you'd like. Oh, gosh. But be strategic about oh. it, because you're going to have your hands full. Lots of hungry customers will be clamoring for meals at lightning this fast stuff, speeds. This stuff, like, usually makes me go... You don't have to undertake this gastronomic journey alone. Like multiplayer? I forget who I am. Can play together yeah, it's chaos. I can't. Online to help run this culinary empire. Manage both the kitchen and front of house to keep your customers happy. At the end of every randomly generated shift, you can acquire new high-tech appliances like turbo ovens to turbo, upgrade your kitchen and make ovens. your next restaurant venture even more successful. Turbo ovens, so chat. deliciousness when Played Up launches on Nintendo turbo Switch oven? this October. Who's got that turbo oven at home? Cześć, jestem Marek. A ja Monika. Quilts and Cuts of Calico to gra, która powstała Monster w naszej couch. miłości do gier planszowych i kotów. Kiedy wyobrażam sobie idealne miejsce do odpoczynku, widzę ciepły koc i mojego mruczącego kota Darwina. Mogę wtedy zrelaksować się przy ulubionej książce. Także dla mnie koty są synonimem przytulności i ciepła. Te uczucia chcieliśmy wyrazić w naszej adaptacji gry planszowej Kaliko. Mamy mm. nadzieję, że poczujecie je tak samo jak my. Miłego oglądania. Looking for the perfect board game night? Check out Quilts and Cats of Calico. Aww. Adapted from the real life tabletop game Calico, You'll make a quilt from pattern pieces oh, of fabric. That's kind of cool. Place pieces on the board, sew buttons to score points, and attract adorable cats. Aw, cute! Each Girl's cat melting. has a preferred pattern, so stitch in style to become a master quilt maker. Get cozy with up to three friends in local and online multiplayer. Join ranked matches against random players. Or try your hand at weekly Anyone challenges. Been waiting on this one? You can also take some time to customize your cats and give them a positively great look. Cuddle uh -oh. up with Quilts and Cats of Calico, launching on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Oh, this one's cool. Okay, chat. Okay, okay. Oh, Rift of the Necromet Dancer. Okay, so they've they've done a little twist on the uh, their their wow, previous one with I like this. This game has some sick beats. I can tell. You've been bobbing your head for a while. And Is this, this from the Crypt, of, the Crypt, Crypt of, the of the Necro Dancer? Yeah. You still gotta move to the rhythm, but it's got a new musical twist of lane-based combat. I love lane based will come stuff. flying at you, so match the on-screen prompts to kick them to the curb. Each one has a different movement pattern, and some take multiple hits to defeat. Oh, and let's not forget boss I, battles. I love the art for this. really get you grooving. And if you need a break from the baddies, there's a special mini game to what? play for each of the five character storylines. Keep the beat alive when Rift of the Necro Dancer launches on Nintendo Switch oh. this year. Oh yeah, that, I, 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 I want to play that Next chat. Up, well, I want to get in on that. We've got some DLC news to share for games we previously featured in Indie World. More puzzles await in the Cupboards and Drawers DLC for a little to the left. Get tidying across 25 oh, new is... puzzles as you explore a world of small spaces, secret compartments, and what? surprising stuff stuffed into every drawer. Charming new illustrations and scenarios are also included in this paid DLC, launching on Nintendo Switch this June. I can't, I can't June. say I would hate this, chat. Dig into more roguelite puzzle action with the Shovel Knight that. Pocket Dungeon Puzzlers Pack. Oh yeah, Venture Shovel Knight, okay. has two newly playable characters. Test your puzzle prowess with quandary challenges and make your way through the perplexing halls of Castle Quandary. You can also pay Mr. Well, Hat a visit it, for over 20 in-game hats to modify yeah. runs, or pick up some nifty yeah, yeah, relics in chill. Chester's pretty... shop. I, I, is unpacking a little bit more stressful though, like a little bit more chaotic stuff? This spring. As you unpack, time limits. 
cult? Oh yeah, the, the uh... Expand your flock in the Relics of the Old Faith update for Cult of the Lamb. Dozens of new items, relics, and enemies are scattered across remixed dungeons, guarded by the new versions of the four guardian bishops. Like a remix? Take your spoils back to the cult with new buildings to construct and followers to recruit, plus a new unlockable quest. And after beating the game, keep the faith going with the new permadeath, gauntlet, and boss rush modes. This Ooh. free update launches on Nintendo Switch April 24th. It is a free update, so yeah. hello. You know, I am Funny Man Video Game Donkey from Big Mode Publishing. I am joined today by the creator of Animal Well, Billy Basso. Hello, I'm Billy Basso, the developer of Animal Well. What the? I've been working <laughs> on Animal Well for over five years at this point, all alone, making everything that goes into the game, including the engine. I was trying to give people the experience of finding something new in a place they've already been before. Pretty much somewhere that's filled with puzzles that you would want to keep coming back to over and over again. I hope you enjoy Animal Well when it comes out on Nintendo Switch. Thank it's you. It's 1 a.m. Ain't got time for this. Well, out screen. Labyrinth. So well, well, well. <laughs> Sounds like you're ready for Animal Well. In this atmospheric, the disrespect was world, too real. You'll search for treasures as you gradually uncover <laughs> a dense environment. Where you go is entirely up to you. Perfect. So I shouldn't need to worry about anything dangerous, right? Yeah, about that. You're not alone in this labyrinth. Many interesting creatures live here, but some might be hostile, so stay alert. Any items you've picked up can be used in a number of ways, like making a quick getaway or having friendly creatures cool looking, help though. you out in a pinch. And speaking of items, there's a lot to uncover here. So get crafty with your items and see what you find. I'll be well prepared then. Oh, Summon gosh, your no. courage and curiosity for Animal Well, launching early? on Nintendo Switch early next year. Early 2024? Wow. I didn't think we were going to get that far out. Wait, another cooking game? Not cooking game? Wait, wait, what? Crime cook, okay. Guess what? It's crime o'clock! Mm, that's odd. My watch says otherwise. I meant the puzzle exploration game. Anyway, there's no time to waste. You've got over 40 cases to solve across Whoa. time and space. But where, or I guess when, do I even begin? Elementary, my dear Andrew. Look at your map. There are lots of eras to visit, from the lost age to a cybernetic future. In each wow. era, you'll see how crime scenes develop for different time ticks. Wait a second. Could I do something in one era and change events in another? Exactly. By traveling through time, meeting characters, and resolving each case, the map will change and more adventures will be unlocked. Sounds like well, a oh, timeless geez. experience. Set your alarms to Crime O'Clock when it launches on Nintendo Switch I June 30th. Like, that's too that's too big brain for me. Hello, I'm Peter, project leader of Engage. Crazy. I'm Ola, the art director. Pretty and cool. I'm Marion, co-producer. For the last 10 years, we created a variety of different games, expanding the Tassagrad universe. Now we are returning to our roots for a sequel. These titles are not only a celebration of the original game, but also Scandinavian nature and folklore, the origin of so much of our game's uh, visual identity. We hope you'll find as much wonder as we have in this universe. You know what? I kind of like this. We see you at the top of the tower. Cheers and talk. I kind of like this, how they have the devs giving Whoa, a really nice little, powers. you know, Shocking. introduction to their games. Close. In Tesselgrad 2, you'll harness electromagnetic powers to solve physics-based puzzles. Move oh, seamlessly whoa. through Scandinavian-inspired environments, oh, nice. accompanied by an orchestral soundtrack influenced by Nordic oh, folk tunes. Is this already but out? But this Emily? land holds many dangers as fearsome beasts stand in your way. Master the art of Teslamency and defeat them to discover additional areas to explore. Plus, you can play a remastered version of the first Tesla oh, Grand game, oh, oh, okay. which adds enhanced visuals and 10 extra challenge levels. Both Tesla Grad 2 and Tesla Grad Remastered bolt onto the Nintendo Switch system. Later today, you can oh, get wow. the game separately or bundled together in the Tesla Grad Power Pack Edition. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that, that's a drop. Mm. 
mobsters, monsters, mysteries, flappers, felons, fishmen, goofs, goblins, government conspiracies. I, I'm, there's a lot of black and white on the screen. Someone's eyes are burning at this point. Oh, especially right there. A little art like was that RPG combat? Okay, it is. It is RPG combat. Okay. Shadows over loathing. Flappers, felons, and fishmen the Lovecraft story. Sounds like the cat's pajamas. Sign me up. Okay. Set in the 1920s within the West of Loathing universe, Shadows Over Loathing is a slapstick RPG full of silliness and stick figures. Your Uncle Murray asks you to help run his antique shop in Ocean City, but he's nowhere to be found. While searching for him, you'll encounter a sinister plot that could spell the end of the world. Venture through a sprawling black and white world filled with talking frogs, sentient maps, oh. and eldritch horrors. There's also a ton of roles to play. Mm. March to the beat of your own nefarious schemes as a jazz agent, Hold the curds of the cosmos in this your looks low random, which is me. The digital version of Shadows Over Loathing launches on Nintendo Switch. I mean, the Later title today, looks nice. The physical version of the game will launch this fall. The title text looks nice. Hola, somos parte del equipo de The Game Kitchen, creadores de Blasphemous y The Last Door. Soy Enrique Cabeza, director creativo. So I think this, the, I don't know if I saw this, but I'm guessing... Blasphemous es un juego muy querido por la comunidad. Y desarrollar una secuela nos da la ocasión oh, de volver wow. a trabajar Blasphemous en su mundo sequel. y enriquecerlo aún más. En esta segunda parte But hemos tenido la oportunidad like a... de plasmar tanto nuevas ideas de diseño como nuevos caminos artísticos y narrativos. Os invitamos a echar un primer vistazo a Blasphemous 2. Esperamos wow. que os guste. I didn't end up getting Blasphemous last the one on has sale, returned. so... In this sequel to Blasphemous, you'll undertake a pilgrimage yeah, to a land cool. ravaged by a foul curse known as the Miracle. Hack and slash your way through legions of bloodthirsty foes and treacherous traps in this brutal action platformer. Choose from three newly added weapons, each one deadly in their own way. Yeah, Wield yep. the war yeah, it's Metroidvania. For slow but powerful flaming strikes. So it's a Metroidvania with a little bit of a to attack with lightning fast souls like. Precision. And the praying blade for vicious and versatile combos. By unlocking weapon memories, you'll learn more moves that'll help you survive the dangers lying ahead. Penitence awaits in yeah, Blasphemous 2. Yeah, it was really, really well received, so. Switch this summer. This summer, jeez. Riley? Riley, are you there? Riley, yeah, I, I really would like to play the first one. A Netflix Jacob, game studio. Four hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edwards Island. Wait, is that? Yes, but are we? Are we really? I forgot the, the actress's name. About it? Have you seen anyone else around? We've been all over. We've seen different timelines. Gone back to the past. We're alone. We're mostly like, what's that game? No Oxenfree. Riley, seriously, Riley. Was it Oxford? I mean, one of those was getting a sequel. This isn't the first we've heard of this. Yeah, Oxen Free 2. Yeah, yeah. I think this was actually shown at the Xbox uh, Riley event. Riley returns to her hometown of Sometime Canada last to research year. strange electromagnetic waves. But what she discovers is more than what she bargained for. Set five years after the events of the first Oxenfree game, you'll tap into the town's ghostly signals and unsettling static. Well. Tune the radio to communicate with supernatural beings, manipulate the world around you, and watch out for a shadowy cult attempting to open their own reality-altering portal. First one got While good reviews, too. exploring this beautiful yet treacherous town, use the new walkie-talkie conversation system to connect with local contacts. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. Your choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will you forge deep friendships? Turn a blind eye to those in need? It's all up to you. 
Tune in to Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals, airing oh, on July Nintendo 12. Switch July 12th. Pre-orders oh. begin today on Nintendo eShop. Thanks for staying with us so go. far. Before we go, Wait. we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games oh, coming okay. to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Oh, Paper Trail, remember? We did we definitely played this. Trippy as heck. Trippy as heck. Oh, little bitty, little kitty big city. Okay, so that's 2024 Shell. I know Shell was looking forward to this one. Chance of Sinar. Er. I'm thinking this is for, I forgot the, the name of that game. Crap. Yeah, so that's gonna be 2024 show. Boy, King, you wanna play the cat game too? You wanna play the bear game? Friday Nights at Freddy's? Security Breach. Oh, this is today, chat. Available later today, interesting. So some of these are coming out Bomb Rush, Cyberfunk. Um, I want to say. I guess it's not That's out yet. That's all for today's Indie World. What? We hope you enjoyed what? everything shown in today's what? showcase. What? A huge thank you to the Indie community and Indie partners working on games for the Nintendo Switch system. And as always, thank you for watching. You're Follow welcome. Follow our official Twitter account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Until next time. Happy gaming. Happy gaming! Happy gaming to you too! Amber and Ashley. Wait, what were their names again, chat? Uh Ashley wait, what what were their names again? Um Aim Aim uh Um Darn it, there are two A's. Andrew and Ashley. I'm gonna say Andrew Ashley. Look, there were two A's. But yes, it was only gonna be 20 minutes, so we knew that it was you know, they 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 had said how long it was gonna be. Uh, and I think they had a, a huge focus on just like a lot of the international games that they were showcasing from or from international devs, which was nice. Um, there were some good announcements or good games that we saw in there. Uh, I, I'm definitely hype on this. The new Necro. Uh, what's this? I'm more, my mind's like fried. It's like it's 1 a.m. is a Necro Dancer, Necromancer. Uh, but the new the new game from the Necro Dancer Studio that looks pretty cool. I'm I'm honestly like if I'm gonna play any of these, I, I I'm leaning heavily towards like picking this up for like a chill kind of stream game, Rift of the Necro Dancer. Um, that's that's the one for me that caught my eye. But Andy and Ashley sounds like a pair of <laughs> a kids show pair. The brother and sister andy and ashley hi i'm andy and i'm ashley why i went the opposite way for their voices i don't know i don't know yeah this looks like a lot of fun and then we also had a um the kitty game the calico game like i i'm not gonna play it but it looks like it's just really well done it looks really well done and, and pretty cool pretty chill we had the the my porsche time at porsche people come in with um you know their next game and a lot of like I, I mean it's, it's a lot of these games are stuff that I typically wouldn't mess around with uh, and they definitely had a, a, a specific feel for the games that are on the switch you know I, I know Emily kind of pointed out like oh you know a little what, what kind of Stardew Valley game is this but it really is true there are a ton of these kind of games that Nintendo likes to kind of cultivate on their system uh, the other one that was really cool was a uh, Mineko uh, what was it called Mineko's market i believe is the name of this game uh which has a really cute art style and uh, it seems like you're going out into the world and just finding stuff to sell participating in games you know mini games uh, exploring uh, and getting rewards that you'll sell back at the market which is totally fine seems really chill you know the, the switches are i think nintendo knows it of course that you know the switch is it's a very chill switch system um the way that people kind of play it but yeah this looks like a, a really nice little fun cute game and it's got cats i think we saw how many games with cats today two or three um people love the cats you know people love people love the kittens and pets in general so uh this game looks pretty cool 
I don't know if I, I'm, I'd play that, but I, I can definitely see some of us in chat playing Minico's Market or Minico's Garden. One of the two. One of the two, chat. Uh, but other than that, I don't know if there was anything else that we saw that was kind of, you know, just something I, I personally for me, uh, Blasphemous 2 was, was really cool. Uh, and then we had the Oxen Free as well, which looks pretty cool. Telesgrad seemed like something that I, I wouldn't mind, you know, messing around with. But I, I think for me, yeah, the, the two would probably be Blasphemous 2 and then, uh, yeah, Crypt of the Necrodance, or sorry, Rift of the Necrodancer. Looks like a pretty nice one. So, uh, I, it is time for me to call it the sleeps. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and it, it, it's going to be on YouTube, uh, go ahead, leave a like on it and, uh, subscribe to the, to the channel, you know, subscribe to the channel. Also, I do stream on Twitch. You can find me at Ninja Trickster. So you can check that out and, um, stream every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 9 PM Japan center time. I'm going on a vacation, so I won't be here for about a week or two, but just go ahead and leave that, leave that, leave that follow, leave that follow there, or check it out on YouTube. VODs are going up uh, after each stream, so always something to watch, always something to do, and a wonderful community to hang out with. So, yeah, there we go. That's the uh, the Nintendo Showcase, the or sorry, Indie World. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>